All right, I'm going to jump over to our single board computer unboxing mm -hmm. zone here. And here is a box that says Odroid. <laughs> and so some of you know kind of by looking on the Odroid forums what is about to occur. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a box containing an Odroid N2. The brand new board from Hard Kernel. The Odroid N2 is a new generation single board computer that's more powerful, more stable, more faster. More faster? Fasterer. Somebody correct me. More, more fast? It's more faster than the N1. <laughs> it's more faster than anything that uh, I think Odroid has brought out just yet. Okay, so this board has the ARM Cortex-A73 CPU cluster. Uh, it also has a dual-core Cortex-A53 cluster with a new generation Mali-G52 GPU. Um, so it's super powerful, six cores. What have I got in the box? I'm getting right in here. Uh, I really want to just dive right in. I've got a USB Wi-Fi dongle. I've got a 16 gigabyte um, EMMC storage card. And I'm going to just kind of set that aside. Is that cruel of me? Is that cruel? Oh, I can't wait to get into this. It's got 1.8 gigahertz without thermal throttling. Think about that for a second on a single board computer. Oh, what is this? Ah, we've got the US adapter. They were kind enough to think of the fact that I am here in Canada because I'll, g I'll bet you. Ah, uh, yeah, the power adapter here is going to need that guy. Let's see here. So what do we have as far as power goes? Let's put that. that? Right. Come on, get on there. <laughs> Somehow, some way, ladies and gentlemen, this bad boy oh. is going to clip on here and give me power. I guarantee you that is the case. But it makes really bad TV to actually demonstrate it for the first time. So do you, just do you want know, me to do you want me to do that? Death gonna plug into this <laughs> and it's gonna allow me to plug that into my wall. This is a 12 volt 2000 amp uh, milliamp <laughs> 2000 amp. Yeah, right. Uh, two amp. There we go. Uh, this is the chassis. We've seen something similar to this on the Odroid uh, HC1. Wait a minute. Hmm. This looks really tiny. For an N2? I've seen the pictures on their website and it looks huge. Can it really be that small? This is rhetorical. It's yeah. just to because I'm excited. <laughs> this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Oh, look at that. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to bring that up to the camera just so you can get a quick little glimpse at the Odroid N2. Two. What do we notice? First of all, these are blue. Mm. Four USB 3.0 full-sized ports. That is perfect. We've got HDMI 4K 60 out. We've got gigabit Ethernet. We've got the barrel adapter input. Are you ready for this? This is kind of exciting for those of us who have a lot of bricks laying around. This will take 7.5 volt. This will take, uh, I, I think it's like up to 20 volts. This will take a, like a wide range of adapters. 12 volt, 2 amp is the recommended voltage and amperage, but uh, whatever you plug into this is probably going to power it as long as it's 7.5 volts plus. But if you plug in a 9 volt adapter, if you plug in a 15 volt adapter, it's going to power this board and it's safe to do so it will automatically down or up step as needed. We've got 40 pin GPIO. For the purists and the developers, we have a GPIO here. We've got, uh, I see infrared. So if we want to use this as a uh, infrared receiver for say a set top box or something like that, we've got EMMC. So this is where our EMMC storage is going to plug in. We've got a flip switch for our SD card versus uh, EMMC booting. We've got a uh, OTG input uh, if we want to plug in an OTG cable. That's USB 2. We've got stereo audio. That's an output. 
And of course, we've also got audio on the HDMI digital out. One of the things that you notice with this, as per the HC1, HC2, is that there is no SOC, there is no CPU, there is no central processing unit shown on the board. And that is because, on the flip side, which you cannot see, all right, the SOC is on the bottom of this board. And what that allows uh, Hard Kernel to do is they've created this massive heat sink, mm -hmm. this huge aluminum heat sink which feels very cold to the touch is in contact with not only the the SOC so the processor itself but also the uh, the RAM modules which has four gigabytes of DDR3 or is it DD let me think here for a second it's in contact with those modules anyways it's gonna keep it really really cool I, I I'm cor I stand corrected this is DDR4 RAM See, I'm even astonishing myself here, folks. <laughs> it has four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It's 35% faster RAM than the N1, uh, way, way faster than, the, uh, than, say, the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, the metrics that are provided by Hard Kernel are based on the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, but it's still fair as a comparison, and we can say that the CPU, the performance is 20% faster than the previous generation of this, um, and the, the heat dissipation is obviously um, going to prevent throttling as well. That's one of the key characteristics here. If we compare this to the Raspberry Pi, the benchmarks of the N2, it absolutely blasts past the Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, the dark blue that you see there, that represents the Pi 3. The orange on the right, that's the N2. For those who are curious, the XU4 is the purple bar and the light blue bar is the N1. GPU performance is 10% faster than the M1, um, so it performs very, very well. RAM performance is easily, easily 10 times faster than the Raspberry Pi 3. It's also available in a 2 gigabyte model, so if you want uh, less RAM, save a little bit of money, you can just go with 2 gigs, uh, depending on your use case. Um, and, uh, and there you have it, folks. Wonderful. Now, I believe there is composite video out of the uh, audio jack as well. That's something I'm being told. There you go. Questions? Comments? Let us know. Let's look at this case here. I'm yeah. quite curious about how this uh, kind of all comes together. So this kind of, th these typically snap together. It came pre-snapped. I'm afraid to break it. There we go. <laughs> okay. So when this is assembled, if this is like the, uh, the home cloud one. Then it slides. Yeah, exactly. And this, it does indeed. It has a little more of a pronounced track than the home cloud one, so it's easier to line that up. Not that the home cloud one was difficult by any stretch. As I mentioned, though, this is uh, a lot smaller than I was expecting. The pictures really give it that depiction that it's quite large, and I think because we're, we're so used to the Raspberry Pi form factor that when we see all of the stuff that's included on this, we think of this like a micro ATX. Well, it's not, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let me grab a Raspberry Pi 3 Okay. in its case. I don't have one out of its case right now, but I'm just, I just stepped off the camera here just to show you. So form factor wise, here's a Raspberry Pi 3. It's not much bigger, actually. It's not a whole lot different. Now it's a bit wider. Mm-hmm. Raspberry Pi 3, USB 2, but 10 on. over 100. Yeah. Odroid N2, 4 USB 3, <laughs> gigabit. Just saying, 4K 60P, not 4K 60P. Oh. There it is. Beaut. Unboxings make me really want to buy things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jump right back over to the set, folks. Look at that. That is awesome. Not yet available to the public. However, I do have an advanced development board because of NEMS Linux. If you uh, aren't familiar with it yet, head on over to NEMSLinux.com, and it's going to be ported to that board. Uh, I'm really excited about this board, though. Um, it is um, currently supported by Ubuntu 18.04, as well as Android. Not 
too sure on the version on that one. You can check mm -hmm. their forums. Um, also, Maverick has released a preliminary version of Debian Stretch for the uh, N2. Oh. So the software support is coming very, very quickly. And I think they've really nailed this one because they are provisioning development units to the development community before they release it to the public, which is a very wise idea. Because what, what tends to happen, and this is what has happened, we've seen this with some other SBC manufacturers, where the boards come out and there isn't yet any software for it. Right. So everybody goes and buys one and then the developers have trouble buying one. And so now the developers, the very people who are going to be releasing software for it, are having trouble getting a hold of the hardware to be able to release the software. And the people who bought it in the first run are saying, I can't get it working. Yeah. Mally doesn't work. Yeah. Or whatever me, can else. I borrow yours? Cause yeah, this <laughs> yeah. is the thing. So Odroid has really hit it with the N2. It's a beautiful looking board, very well manufactured, as you know, uh, with the Odroid systems. The benchmarks are in, and the benchmarks look spectacular. So I'm very excited about that. Is that right? That'll be available April 2019? Does that make sense? It's coming soon, yeah. Like, that's my <clears> birthday. <throat> What? That's my birthday. Oh my goodness. Dave, add this to her list. That's right. It it's has 4K list. video output. It would make a great set-top box. It's got uh, infrared, so you can use a remote control to control it. Let's do this. See, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Whatever. Now that we've said that, the community is going to send you like four of them. That's right. They're like, what do it's I just do gonna with happen. all these? Yeah, what do you do with all these? <laughs> all of a sudden, you're a developer. Check out the uh, Odroid N2 along with their other products in the line. Cat5.tv slash Odroid.